Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning in to Nizzy Sports Chat. I am your host, Nizzy. And in today's video, we're just going to be breaking down the game last night between the Raptors and the Magic. Uh, the Raptors come through nicely and get a win 113 to 102 over the Orlando Magic. Both teams were missing a lot of players yesterday. Uh, we are resting some big names with OG and Pascal, Kyle out. Um, Gary Trent Jr. was also out. Um, the Magic side, they were missing four or five of their. Uh, main guys as well so they're starting a lot of bench players and obviously they traded uh, a bunch of their assets away like Vucevic and Gordon during the trade deadline so they're uh, they're a team in full rebuild mode preparing for the future nice win from the Raptors last night they hung on to beat them um, held the magic to 45% uh, from the field 34% from three and magic had a abysmal 70% shooting from the free throw line well, that's helped us out a bit there because they had, uh, I think, more free throws than us that game. Or it's right around a similar amount, but they didn't hit very many of them. So, And then for the Raptors, uh, we went 50% from the field, 40% from three, and 94% from the line. So much, much better. We got that 50-40-90 stat line for the entirety of the team there, which is good to see. A very efficient night from everybody. The bench was playing outstanding. Um, they really saved us tonight, man, because our starting lineup was atrocious to start the game. I mean, we only had, what, I think down to like the three-minute mark of the first quarter, we had like 12 points or 13 points. It was another one of those dud quarters where we can barely get over the 10-point mark. Um, for some reason, they tried running everything through Fred Van Vliet that first like seven minutes of the game, um, which I didn't think was very smart because the guy had sat for the last couple weeks. He had just missed like, I think, seven games. Um, so I didn't think that was that smart for them to be running the offense through him. I thought Malachi should have been running the offense and then setting up Freddie, uh, being able to have him hit off ball screens where he can get open for, uh, clear threes, stuff like that. But he shot like one or set one of seven or one of eight to start the game. Just atrocious shooting. Um, same thing with Malachi. He didn't start out too hot either. I think he started out like one of six. So really poor performance to start, obviously, from our uh, from our backcourt. They did pick it up a lot in the second half, and they also, once they realized their shooting stroke wasn't too hot, they kind of dialed back on taking so many shots, started, you know, doing the playmaking point guard duties, which is what we needed from them, which was very helpful. Um, once again, another huge rebounding game from the Raptors, 42-35. to 35, We out-rebound the Magic. So that's two games in a row, guys. That's two games now where we've out-rebounded our opponents. Guess what happened in both those games? We won. Who would have friggin' guessed, eh? Who would have friggin' guessed? Rebounding will win you some games. Not to mention shooting a good percentage helps out, but I think the rebounding battle is just... We're going to have a lot better chances of winning every single game if we can rebound better, and we've been doing that, man. These uh, additions of Cam Birch and Freddie Gillespie have been great additions, in my opinion. Baines hasn't left the bench since they've been here. And I, sorry, Baines, don't miss you, bud. Don't miss you. <laughs> I mean, these guys just bring in so much more energy. Um, they're just switching so smoothly and efficiently on defense and offense, setting the screens nicely. Um, you know, they got the hops to be able to go get those rebounds, and they're just tough, younger guys who are just ready to roll, right? So I'm really happy with our two center additions. Um, they played pretty well again. Gillespie had 10.7 boards. And I think he played just over 20 minutes. Um, so a nice performance again for him. He was able to stay out there in the stretch. Nick Nurse let him play most of the fourth, um, which I was happy to see. And he did a really good job there. <laughs> Made a couple nice little hook shots uh, in the post. Um, on the offensive end as well, I think he shot five of eight. So pretty efficient night for him. Um, and then Kem Birch had 7.6 assists, or six boards, sorry, not assists. Uh, one steal and three blocks as well, so did some nice stuff for us defensively. Nothing too crazy on the offensive end, but still combined between those two, you still get 17, point, 17 points and 13 boards. Um, so, you know, just nice efficient play from both those guys. Not doing too much, they're just doing exactly what we asked them, right? Get the boards, run uh, some pick and roll, finish hard at the rack, play good defense, right? And they've been doing all those things for us, so it's been a major help, I think, having those two guys. I think Gillespie's last game is on Sunday, tomorrow, against OKC, and then his 10-day is up. So we'll find out most likely tomorrow 
if they're going to extend him another 10 day. I'm not sure if they're going to because they signed Cam Birch. Um, but I really hope this guy gets another run, at least another 10 day contract. I think he's definitely better than Baines at this point. He's also an undrafted rookie, so for an undrafted rookie to be able to come in and provide decent minutes without hardly any practice time and any knowledge of how we run our offense or defense and still be able to switch properly, no one's yelling at him, telling him to set screens. He's setting screens automatically on the offensive end. I think he's been a great addition, man. I'd love to see him get some more run time the rest of this year, especially, you know, we're not contenders this year. There's very little, little chance that we ever make it even past the first round of the playoffs. Um, so I'd like to see him get a run the rest of the year. I just think he's an addition, a better addition than Baines is, basically. So, And then the big-time players for the night, you guys. Paul Watson and Yuta combined for 51, man. Paul Watson has a career high tonight, 30-point game. Also added on four boards, one assist, one steal, and one block on 10 of 13 shooting. So very efficient night for him. Uh, played really well, man. Didn't start off too hot in the first quarter there. Really, in the first half, wasn't too hot at all. That third quarter, though, man, we're, we're the, the biggest reason we won the game was because he just went off in that third quarter. He was daggering every three he shot. Wasn't missing nothing. Uh, huge, huge breakout game for Paul Watson Jr. Really happy for the guy because he's been grinding with the Raptors for a couple of years now. Hasn't really gotten a lot of run time on the floor. Um, the potential's always been there, especially the shooting potential. He's just a knockdown shooter, just a lethal shooter. Um... It finally got his chance tonight, man. Made made the most of it. 30 points. Great game from him. Did a little bit of everything as well with the boards. An assist, a steal, and a block. Um, was doing good switching out there. Played really well. And then Yuta come in with off the bench with 21, man. Had a career high night for him as well. So two guys. Two guys on the team with career highs. Last night, he also dropped six boards. Um, two assists. So really nice game from Yuta. Um, those two guys carried us, man. I mean, 51 points from two guys that you would be happy if they combined for 20. You know what I mean? And they gave you 51. So they're a big reason why we won last night, especially with missing a lot of our key contributors. Um, Freddie was shooting not very good last night. Malachi wasn't shooting very good last night. But thankfully, they, they recognized it early on once they started missing a bunch of shots and they started just focusing on their playmaker role, um, which benefited us very well. Um, but overall, nice game for the Raptors for keeping the streak rolling now. It's two games in a row. Good chance again tomorrow against uh, Oklahoma City. I know they're dealing with a bunch of injuries and stuff as well. They're in full rebuild mode. Um, and we got whooped by them last time, man. That Moses Brown just annihilated us in the paint with getting all those boards last time. I think he's a good seven-foot center. He's an undrafted uh, rookie. But he was just annihilating us last time we played OKC, man. So I'm really excited to see how we uh, match up against him this time and how we match up against OKC with the new additions of our two new centers who just got a little more pop, a little more jump in their step and can defend a little bit better than Aaron Baines. So I think it could be a good game for them again tomorrow. Try and get that win, three, win streak to three before we got to verse Brooklyn the game after. And I know Bo or, uh, Chicago lost last night. So that bumped the Raptors up. They're tied with the same, pretty much the same record as Chicago, but the percentage, win percentage is a little bit higher. So we are in that 10 seed play-in spot now. Um, a lot of guys on our tail, though. Uh, the Wizards are picking it up. The Bulls are still right there. So still got to play good, good basketball for this last few weeks of the season here. Um, very important to get the win tomorrow against OKC. It's a win that we should get. And then we got a tough one against Brooklyn, which normally we show up for the tough games. So I'm excited for that one. I think we'll have a good chance against Brooklyn as well, maybe even get a, the win streak going a bit longer. But anyways, guys, that's the video for today. Raptors versus Magic, 113-102. to Nice victory for the Raptors. Let me, let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. What do you think our chances are of uh, going on a little win streak here? And once again, guys, thank you for watching. This is Nizzy with Nizzy Sports Chat signing off. Peace.